Yeah, I'm mean, definitely. I mean, everybody, certainly from the, the bench who came on, really fired us up and um, took us home strongly. You know, this is the fifth game I think we've lost in the last play of the game. You know, so it's been a frustrating one where we, we in almost every, you know we're in every contest right until the, the whistle goes and we just can't get ourselves over the line. You know, and I think that comes probably in a few lazy moments in the game. You know, if I think of the kick return where they scored and the intercept. You know, that we just gave them basically 14 points. Like. Um, but overwhelmingly, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of the fight that the guys, sh the guys showed. You can see the guys obviously care a lot, you know. So, uh, you know, we, we're still in this fight. So, um, hopefully we'll be seeing these guys again in two weeks' time. So, what's the detail that's missing? You know, like in the red zone, uh, Matt, uh, I heard you talking outside about that, you know, being more clinical or faster recycling in the red zone. Yeah, look, we... we, we um we created opportunities, a lot of one-on-ones, but then our ball was too slow, basically. So our, our ability to get off our foot and then get clean and clean past the ball and get it quicker. Um, you see Joey's digging in there, digging in there, digging in there. So it's not a, it's not a case of a, a, a brand spanking move. Um, the idea is that speed of play will, will, will beat the, the defending team. Um, and I just thought they did incredibly well um, last week, probably even more so, to slow our ball in, in that red zone. Um, so for us, we've got to get better with our, um, our detail and our clean and our aggression around that clean because then we'll, we'll start getting tries. You saw our first try was a pick just around the edge, like literally because it's a good outside clean, pick around the edge. Um, there's actually a little bit of detail to it. It's not, not just uh, brute force, but um, yeah, we need to be better there because we're getting down there a lot of times. Um, I don't think anyone's ever watched us play and thought that you know we don't have advent or we don't have chances. Uh, we have chances, we just need to convert. How frustrating was that first half? You know, the way things are when you get hard on defence and there's a car and there's string of penalties. It's sort of stuff. Yeah, there, there wasn't a lot going on in that first half, really. It was just set piece pressure. And geez, I mean, to be fair, Jeff, I thought. I thought we were unlucky with some of the calls around being early at the mall. I mean, if that's the marker, that's fine, but then we must ref everybody like that, you know what I mean? Sure, it's marginal. Eh? Uh, in the first game against the Brumbies a few weeks, you know, a couple of weeks ago, Michael Wells got penalised for something that definitely wasn't a penalty. They kicked you the corner and they, they got given a penalty try for James Hansen, who was then given a yellow card. It definitely wasn't a, even, a, even a penalty, you know? So... Um, look, I know that the I know it's hard on the referees, but those things are big moments, you know. <laughs> and uh, we ended up playing the first half with t half of the first half with a one man short, you know, in, in a big pressure game. I mean, um, I guess the thing that we got to challenge our boys on is like, what are we going to do differently in those moments? Because then the, the bench come on and really take it to them, you know. So uh, the mindset from from some of those guys in our starting team. Um, you know, to to back up efforts. I think I think everyone's in the in. Uh, you know, it's not just it's not just the scrum or the mall D, but then what you do after that, the kick chase to connect with the next moment to to be in the game the whole time. And um, it's a good lesson for some of our our, our young tight forwards in particular. Uh, Mel, you'll have to tell me that one. Eh? Sometimes I must say it doesn't always feel like that, but I guess that's how it goes when you. When you, uh, w you know, when you just miss out on the thing. I mean, we're sitting here. Uh, as I said, we lost five games. We could be five from seven. You know, we could. Um, uh, what was it? Five from five from. Is it? Uh, yeah, could be six from seven almost. You know, um, um, for the last kick of the game in all of those games. You know, and our season's feeling very different. So, geez, we're not a long. We're not far away. Um, but uh, we do know now we, we're in a pressure situation. We've got to win next week. We've got to win the following week. We've got to win the week after that. It's three in a row we've got to get now. Um, but, you know, that comes to everybody at some point in the season, I guess. So we, that must win game. Matt, can you talk us through your thinking uh, with that penalty in the place of eight minutes to go? Uh, did you consider at all taking a scrum? Because you just had a really solid scrum. Yeah, look, um, the thinking were there was to notch up the bonus point and then get back down there. I think if you watch the game, the longer the ball was in play, the better we were. So I think the quicker I can kick that kick and get the ball in play um, and give ourselves a chance to score. Um, and I'll do it again, to be honest with you. You know, we've, we've, we've got the, we get the bonus point there and we had probably seven, eight minutes of ball in play um, to, 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 to get an opportunity to score and, you know, we almost did it. So I, I think... Um, Look, we just spoke about how strong they were set piece. I'm probably not going to let that. Um, I'm probably not going to roll the dice there, and, and and you know potentially give away a penalty or unsure what's going on there. So we you, you take the three, then um, get back down there. Okay.
Another specific one, can I ask you about the try that uh, the Brumby scored in the second half to Kunzel from the, uh, from the clearing tip? Mm. Um, and Tabu Silov choosing not to intercept it, mm. uh, thinking he was offside. Mm. Uh, is that something that you thought, well, we missed an opportunity there? Oh, Jeff, there's plenty of that luck in the game. You know, I thought Cabos was excellent. He came on. I mean, this is what sometimes people have missed about our team is that we've probably played mo the majority of the season without nine or ten of our most experienced players, you know. So Cabos last year is a tight head for us. He started before today every game as a loose head this season and almost no one talks about that, you know. He's done, he's done, played out of position and done really well in his first ever start in Super Rugby. Um, you know, he's only played a handful of games. Pono's only played a handful of games. Trevi's only played a handful of games. Rob Liotta is a back rower playing at lock, doing well. Frankie's a nine playing on the wing because we've got injuries. Um, so I'm proud of those guys, you know. Like, um, I'm, not, I'm certainly not going to sit here and, and criticise Cabos for that. Um, I think, uh, I think, as I said, you know, to, to, to Pope earlier, we, we obviously have to win next week now, which is, we, we know that. Um, and I think hopefully we can we can see the Brumbies again. You know, there's obviously stuff we can fix up, but it was a hell of a contest in the, at the end. Do you have any thoughts about the task from last night, or is that a bit early and we'll just go about playing this week this morning? No, no. I mean, look, I, th I thought the, I thought the task played well. You know, again, that was another good game. It's um, it's been a good comp that way. There's been there's been so many games that have been really tight, and uh, credit to the force for, for finishing it in the way they do. So. Um, yeah, again, we're going to have to play well. You know, <laughs> you have to play well in every in every game in this comp. Um, it, it it is nice to have uh, some of the more experienced players coming back for us. You know, guys like Nasser Rani, Cameron Orr back again tonight. Uh, guys like Lockie Anderson, maybe Dane Halepedi next week can be available. Campbell Magna, I thought was excellent on his first game back tonight. Um, um, so those things have made a big difference to us, and um, I think they'll be better for the game time tonight. Uh, no, we'll we'll we'll, um, uh, we'll have a talk, uh, talk about that later, Mel. It's um, you know we went with a six-two bench again, like that sort of like we 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 gambled on that. Frankie, who started on the wing, covered us at nine, so we didn't have a specialist nine on the bench. So our plan was to try to um, to do that with them in the forwards, which it worked. Sometimes you get lucky, you know. Um, but um, yeah, look, I, I think a real credit, as I said, to the guys on the bench because they understood what was expected of them and they came on and really delivered. Um, so I'm, I'm proud of them for that. Yeah, look, Campbell's been out for a long time, obviously with a with a with a with a uh, significant injury. So um, he started to just fatigue a little bit towards there. He'd have some big involvements, and um, um, yeah, it was just the right time to bring him off. Thank you, guys. Thank you.